Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will be learning about trigonometric ratios. We'll see the definition. And once you understand this concept, the remaining part of trigonometry will be much easier to understand. So let's start. Friends, before we jump into trigonometric ratios, let's quickly revise a few important terms. Now trigonometry comes into the picture whenever there is a right angle triangle. So here I have a right angle triangle. The right angle is at angle B. So you already know that the sum of the angles have to be 180 degree, which means these two angles when you add has to be 90 degrees. So these two angles are always acute friends. That is very important to understand. Now let's come to the three sides of the right angle triangle. Friends, the side opposite the 90 degrees is called, yes, the hypotenuse. So this is my hypotenuse. It is the largest side and it will never change for a given triangle. So for this triangle, hypotenuse will always be AC. Now the other two sides are called as perpendicular and the base side. However, the perpendicular and the base always changes when you change the angle being considered. So for example, suppose I'm considering angle C over here. What will be the perpendicular? The perpendicular side will be the side opposite to the angle C. And which is that side friends? Yes, it's AB, right? And the base is the side on which the angle is resting. So angle C is resting on the side BC. So that will be the base. The hypotenuse will be the same. The hypotenuse will be AC. So this is for angle C. Now let's see for angle A. So for angle A, again the hypotenuse will be the same friends. It will be AC only. Now let's see the perpendicular. The perpendicular will be the side which is opposite to angle A, which is nothing but BC. See how it is changing over here? Now let's see the base also. The base will be the side on which this angle is resting. Now this angle is resting on AB friends. So that will be the base. So I hope you understood friends these important terms hypotenuse, base and perpendicular. Now with these in mind, let's do a very interesting thing friends. What I'm going to do is for angle C, this is the perpendicular AB. Now I'm going to increase the length of AB without changing the base. So how can I do that? Maybe I can extend this perpendicular like this. Right now it has come here. Now to complete this new triangle, I will have to draw a line like this. Now did you see that angle C has increased friends? Earlier it was here, now it is here. That means if I increase my perpendicular, this angle C is also increasing. Now let's do the opposite. Instead of increasing, I'm going to decrease. So now my perpendicular will be only this much. Then how do I complete the triangle? I will have to join like this. And did you see this new angle C? It has reduced. Earlier it was this angle. Now it has reduced. What does that mean? As I'm changing the perpendicular, the angle is also changing friends. So you can check this out with the other angle A also and you will arrive at the same conclusion. And that's why we have the concept of ratios friends where we relate the angles of a triangle with the sides of the triangle. Now how many sides are there in a right angle triangle? There are three sides. What are they? They are the perpendicular, the base, and the hypotenuse. I'm just taking the short forms, friends. Now, for these three sides, how many combinations can you come up where you're dividing the two sides of a triangle? Yes? Well, there are six combinations and I'll show you how, friends. Friends, here we have listed all the possible combinations where you're dividing the two sides of a triangle. There are six ratios that we get. Now, why did we use the word ratio? That's because you are dividing two sides which have the same unit, right? The unit of length. So when you divide length and length, the units get cancelled and you get a pure number which has no unit and that is always called a ratio. So these are all ratios friends and because it's all related to a right angle triangle, they are known as trigonometric ratios. So we have six trigonometric ratios. Now these trigonometric ratios are given different names. So let's quickly see what are the names. So the ratio perpendicular upon hypotenuse 
is denoted as the sine ratio friends okay so it is called the sine ratio s i n e but usually the short form is s i n okay now all this is according to a particular angle in a triangle if i change the angle the ratios will change so let me fix the angle let's say i'm considering angle c so all the ratios will be for angle c so this will be sin c friends this is not sin but this is sin so sin c is perpendicular upon hypotenuse can you quickly tell me friends what will be the perpendicular and hypotenuse for angle c yes definitely it's going to be ab is the perpendicular and the hypotenuse is ac okay now for angle a shall we say what will be sin a yes we can quickly do that friends so sin a will be again the same formula it will also be perpendicular upon hypotenuse but for angle a what is the perpendicular see this is angle a so the perpendicular will be yes it will be bc and the hypotenuse will be the same ac friends i hope you got this friends the next ratio we are going to consider is base upon hypotenuse now this ratio is given the name as cosine what is it known as cosine ratio so it will be base upon hypotenuse it's actually the complement of sine friends that's why it's called cosine now because we are going to consider angle c we'll call it as cosine of c however as the short form we'll just write it as cos c so cos c is always base upon hypotenuse now let us see for angle c what will be the base and hypotenuse can you quickly tell me friends yes it will be bc upon ac now the third ratio we are going to take is perpendicular upon base ratio so the perpendicular upon base ratio is also called the tangent of c the short form however is tan c right so tan c is perpendicular upon base so for c the perpendicular side will be ab and the base will be bc friends now friends a very interesting thing about the tangent is that you can also write this perpendicular upon base as perpendicular upon hypotenuse divided by base upon hypotenuse can you tell me why friends because when i just reciprocate the hypotenuse and hypotenuse will get cancelled something like this see into this hypotenuse will come up and these two will get cancelled so i'll get back my perpendicular upon base so this perpendicular upon hypotenuse we just now discussed is sin c divided by base upon hypotenuse is cos c so this is a very very important result friends tan c is always sin c upon cos c friends the fourth ratio we are going to see is the base upon perpendicular ratio so base upon perpendicular now this is called the cotangent ratio or cot also it's called friends so cotangent of c or you just call it as cot c okay now cot c is just base upon perpendicular and again you can write this as base upon hypotenuse divided by perpendicular upon hypotenuse friends you can do like this and you will get cos c divided by sin c this is also a very important result the next ratio is this hypotenuse upon base ratio hypotenuse upon base now this ratio is called the secant ratio okay it's called the secant ratio short form is sec so i'm going to take sec c and what is it going to be over here it is going to be the hypotenuse which is nothing but ac and the base is going to be bc similarly friends you can check it out for sec a also now the last ratio is hypotenuse upon perpendicular let's also define that hypotenuse upon perpendicular now this is equal to the cosecant of the angle so it is cosecant of c so i can just write it as cosec that is the short form it is the cosec ratio it is always the hypotenuse upon the perpendicular so in this case for angle c what is the hypotenuse it is ac 
divided by the perpendicular is a b friends so friends here are the six trigonometric ratios now a very interesting observation is that sin ratio is perpendicular upon hypotenuse cosec is hypotenuse upon perpendicular so they are just reciprocals of each other so i can just say that sin c is 1 upon cosec c correct now let's see cos and sec again you can see this is base upon hypotenuse this is hypotenuse upon base so another result is that cos c is 1 upon sec c and yes you have guessed it right tan c is equal to 1 upon cot c friends now friends one last important thing is the concept of equivalent ratios so again for this triangle just see friends i have here angle c this is ab and this is bc now if i just shrink ab and bc suppose let me call this as b and say e now this is a new triangle dec and this is my old triangle abc but did you observe here that angle c is the same although the ratios are going to be different so if i see here tan c i can say is ab upon bc yes i can say that and tan c is also de upon ec you will see that tan c is ab upon bc tan c is also de upon ec now that's very much possible because these two ratios are equivalent friends so when you divide it you will get the same angle something like maybe 3 by 4 may be one ratio and the other ratio may be 9 by 12 right so these are equivalent if i reduce it i will get the same ratio that means my angle will be the same and that's why trigonometric ratios are very useful while relating the angles with the sides of a right angle triangle friends i hope that this video was useful to you if so please do like and share the video please do leave your comments in the comment section below and consider subscribing to enjoy math so till we meet again in the next video take care